yes? And I'm Comrade Stalin, yes? And I say, look, it will be common border. In that case, you can attack me, yes? It's very bad. But what is my reason to have a common border with you, my dear friend, yeah? Why? So anyway, Ribbentrop uh, come to Moscow very quickly, in the same day, 23rd of August, they divided uh, uh, Poland in the two, half for you, half for me. And say, in one week we will attack, in one week. Agree, yes? So today it's the 23rd of August, 1st of September, we will attack. You, Adolf Hitler, sorry, yes. You attack 1st of September, you attack Poland, yes? And I say, I'm not ready. Isn't that fantastic? It's, please imagine, we try, you and me, we try to kill somebody. Yes, why not? Yes, so just uh, one, two, three. You see, so just uh, one, two, three. You say, bam. And I say, no ammunition, sorry. Yeah? <laughs> who is bad guy? Yes? Who start, who killed the innocent uh, person? Yeah? Who is innocent? It's me. Yeah? It's actually what's happened uh, in the August of 1939. Stalin say for Hitler, yes, please, half Poland for you, half for me, please. We will attack 1st of September, okay. You attack, and I say, sorry, I'm not ready, yeah? Who is bad guy? Yes, yes. So, after three days, uh, Great Britain and France declare war for Adolf Hitler, yeah? But be kind, uh, you cannot win such thing, because Germany have no such a navy uh, like a Britain, yeah? You cannot destroy Great Britain. You have no strategic aviation. Just 3rd of September, he was in a very, very bad situation. But behind Great Britain, there is a big uh, country, you see, behind all this. Uh, it's called the uh, United States of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 3rd of September, Adolf Hitler lost Second World War completely. And Stalin waiting, I'm not ready. Yeah? So, Hitler destroyed all Polish army. After 17th of September, Stalin said, oh yes, now I'm ready. Yes, okay, yes. And half Poland for me, half for you, okay? Yes. But you're a bad guy. You start Second World War, yeah? I'm not. We divided, please, remember forever. Pact to start Second World War was signed, not in Berlin, but in Moscow. Isn't it strange? And it was no Adolf Hitler here, it was Comrade Stalin here. Yeah? So, if Stalin is a decent person, he have to say, Adolf, I'm not ready. First of September, let's divide Poland, let's do it. Yeah? But I am not ready 1st of September. Please, let's attack 1st of November, 1st of December. Next year, Poland between us, Poland will never escape, you see. So you need half of Poland, I need half of Poland. Let's do it next year, yeah? But he say, 1st of September, Hitler attack, I am not ready. That's all. So, It is a Ribbentrop signing, you see, it's a comrade Stalin behind, very happy, yes, and there is a division of, uh, it is a Poland, it's a Ribbentrop signature, and comrade Stalin start to sign here, Iosif Sta, suddenly he stop, and he just, Stalin, wow, wow, 58 centimeters. Do you know, do you know what is a 58 centimeter? No. Of course you don't. I will show you what is a 58 centimeter, yeah? 40, yes, 50, 58, look at that, yeah? You believe me, yeah? 58, yeah? 58, yeah? Come on, <laughs> it is something. I'm not psychologist. I'm not psychologist at all. I'm simple Russian spy, you see, but... <laughs> <laughs> but even so, you see, so, even simple Russian spy can understand. Comrade Stalin is a 
very, very, it's a, it's a top excitement, yeah? Can you imagine he start to start like this? Stop, wow, you see, hello, yes. Why? Number one, because it's a trap. I explain to you, it's a trap. Half Poland for you, half for me. You will attack, I'm not. So, and number two, that signature, that one, it's a completely illegal. It's illegal. Because that is guy, Ribbentrop. Ribbentrop, it's a minister of foreign affairs of Third Reich. Yes? Yes. He is a foreign minister. He has a right to sign some uh, very important uh, documents. But Stalin, he is not president. He is not prime minister. He is not minister. He is not member. He is a general secretary of party. Yeah? Let's imagine if somebody now divide Iran or Iraq or something in it too, and both of Democratic Party were signed it. You see, so, so. It's rubbish, yeah? It's a, it's a no illegal, uh, legal significance at all. Because Stalin has no official duty at all in that time. Later he became, in 41, he became a, a prime minister. In a, a war he was a, a, a supreme command in chief and so on and so on. But in the 39, he was a general secretary of Communist Party. Nothing else. Только вождь. Только вождь. But it's not official, yeah, worst. what is worst? It's a leader, you see, so our oh, great, and so what? <laughs> uh, we divided, so it is a Russian and German uh, officer just uh, made uh, some kind of details. It will be border between us, you see, so it is a one. Uh, uh, Boda, it is a Russian, it is a German, you see, so we will be good friends forever. But it's American cartoon of that time. Now you can say I'm stupid, I'm bad, yes I am, but in that time, American people can see situation in a very different way. Where is the Poland? Here, Poland. And where is the explosive? And where is the two bad guys? Uh, who like to blow up Europe. Actually, as I explained, one of that guy was a smart guy, see, and second was a little bit naive. It is uh, Russian and uh, uh, Germans in Poland. Germany destroyed Polish army, but uh, flower of victory for Red Army, yeah? so just uh, half for you, half for me, you see, so I'm innocent, I protect just uh, Poland, that's all, you see, so, and you aggressor. American cartoon of that time, you see, so it is a Poland, and it is uh, actually two guilty, it's a Nazi and Soviet Union, you see. Now we don't forget the role of the Soviet Union, it's a way dividing. Uh, in the Brest, uh, Germans give uh, to Red Army, it is a Russian commissar, it is a Polish of, uh, soldiers, you see, so it's a German all around. You see, they give to Russian uh, all captured prisoners, you see, as a present, goodwill for Russian. All officers being killed later by uh, Stalin in KVD. 10,000 Polish officers, you see, so just... Yes, uh, strange thing, uh, all Polish officers who have been captured by German and in German concentration camp, generally they survive. Somebody died because of wounded, uh, because of disease, uh, and so on. But all Polish officers have been captured by Red Army, you see soldiers, they all been uh, killed, generally. The point is, it is Comrade Yezhov Nikolai Ivanovich, Chief of uh, uh, Russian Secret Police, 1937-38, Nikolai Ivanovich Yezhov. And Comrade Stalin like him very much, Yezhov and Stalin. So Stalin say for Yezhov, there is a lot of enemy of people, my personal enemy. Can you kill all of them? Yezhov say, sir, please, this is so big terror. He just destroying uh, tens of thousands of people, you see, who can be enemy of uh, Stalin or potential enemy, or presumably potential enemy, he killed of them. After Stalin say, wow, you're madman, you see, he killed Yezhov. And, yeah. 
And who is guilty? Of course, Yezhov is guilty. Stalin never killed people himself, you see. Stalin is a smart guy. And actually, that period of uh, Soviet history, it's Yezhovshina. Yeah? It's not Stalinshina. It's Yezhov, bad guy. Yeah? So, and when killed him uh, in the early 39, an exactly same pattern of Stalin behavior, but only not inside of uh, Soviet Union, but outside. So, Hitler, can you destroy Europe? Yeah, can you do it? I will help you. So, you need oil? Yes, I will give you oil. You see, I just show you the simplest possible instrument. Simplest, simplest possible. And here it's a chrome and vanadium. It's just written here. You can get it, yeah? Okay, you, you, everybody believe, chrome and vanadium. Without chrome and vanadium, you cannot build submarines, uh, cruiser, uh, tanks, uh, guns, and so on and so on. Germany have no chrome, no vanadium, no oil, no food. Okay, Stalin said, I will supply you, yeah? Please don't worry. Don't worry. Can you destroy Europe? <sighs> In Stalin, um, strategy he called non-officially he called adolf hitler icebreaker icebreaker of revolution adolf hitler please you see so please destroy uh, france uh, belgium holland norway uh, yugoslavia you see so i will be behind you i will supply you don't worry please come forward 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 after that it would be like uh, with uh, mm, Mr. Yezhov, you are a bad guy, I destroy you, and so on. Let's imagine situation. Spring of 1941. In Europe, Hitler destroyed, in a continental Europe, all the states, all the government, all political parties, all trade unions, all armies, whole Europe, yeah? And he is ready to come forward to attack Great Britain, yes? And if he attack Great Britain, so all his navy would be mainly against Great Britain, aviation against Great Britain, uh, army against Great Britain, all his tanks, all his best general, and so on. And behind him, where is a comrade Stalin as a liberator? And whole Europe, waiting for that liberation with uh, two watches, yeah? In that time, Europe just waiting for liberation. So, <clears throat> it is a Nikita Khrushchev, it is a Russian dictator who became a dictator after Stalin. And it's the 29th of September, 1939, and I find exactly what he say in that 